Hey guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. I'm doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna to be doing a how they're feeling about you reading. This is going to be for the sign of Capricorn or Capricorn cross watchers. This can be anybody you're currently talking to or not talking to, just anybody you wanna know how they're feeling about you. All right, how's the person in Capricorn dealing with feeling about them? How's the person in Capricorn dealing with feeling about them? Person Capricorn dealing with feeling about them. Okay. Well, okay. So, hold on. So we have the devil. So you're coming out and you're reading. Ooh, this is all major arcana. Wow. Devil energy, but this is also Capricorn. So, um, the world here cycles high priestess and emperor. So four major arcanas here. Where's the devil card here for Capricorn? Ten of Cups. Why's the world here? Six of Wands, victory. I think this person's devil energy might have kept them from committing to this Ten of Cups type of level. But they want to change that cycle and have victory with you. Why is the High Priestess here? They're trusting their intuition about talking to you, Page of Wands. They want to talk to you. They want to... We have the Emperor here. Why is the Emperor here? tower this person stepped into their emperor energy um they might have been kind of devil energy in the past keeping you from this um ten of cups maybe they didn't want to commit or something like that but they just had this tire moment and they stepped stepped into their divine masculine emperor energy and they want to change the cycle and have victory with you and they're just kind of trust their intuition about whether they want or not they want to reach out to you um, Alright, so who are we doing? Capricorn. How, how's the person Capricorn dealing with feeling about them? How's the person Capricorn? Oh my goodness. How's the person Capricorn is dealing with feeling about them? The singer of the chalice, Ace of Cups. They want to be getting in love with you, 100%. This is like one of the best readings I've seen on this so far. Fairy Godmother. You're their wish come true. They want this Ace of Cups with you, 100%. This is like the most successful story out of the ones I've done so far. It's like. I think this person might have been a little bit devil energy in the past, maybe wasn't committing, but they seemed like they just had a crazy tower moment. Stepped into their emperor energy, want this ace of cups. They know you're this fairy godmother, you know you, they were, you were their gift from the fairy godmother. How's this person that Capricorn's dealing with feeling? The lady, yeah, you're this, they think very highly of you. How's this person Capricorn dealing with? How's the person Capricorn dealing with? Okay. I knew this was going to come out. I knew this was going to come out. The ring. I mean, commitment. They want to commit to you. They're ready to commit to you. This is the most happiest one I've seen so far. A lot of them were like, just a bunch of people that were going to come back for like stupid reasons. This person wants to come back and give you a ring. Because they know, they know they screwed up or they know they, I don't think it was anything awful. I don't think you had anything really toxic going on or anything. I just feel like they might not have been committal. But they all of a sudden just completely flipped and they want to be with you they want to give you a ring they're they're ready to go so um there's not much to say about that really um that was a very very quick one but yeah um i mean literally ace of cups in the ring like they want they want to commit to you they're ready to go they're emperor if they have this tire moment they're going to trust their intuition make it public with the six of wands like i mean awesome <laughs> Alright guys, hopefully that was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up on this video. And subscribe so you can be notified when I post future videos. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.